there everyone, it's right at the very end of the Great Electric Train Show and I've managed to finally nail down Mike Wilde and Richard Watson from Hornby Magazine. So we've just taken a few minutes to quickly chat with them. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Guys, how has this show gone? Oh, great, I've been relegated to Mike Man, so. <laughs> but don't worry, I mean, I bet it's, has it been a really stressful event? Because I've, I've seen you two sort of zipping around, doing lots of stuff. Because, of course, not only are you um, involved with the, the organising of the event, but you're also trying to get lots of interviews and filming done. How has that been? Uh, it's been great. It's, it's always great to be at the Great Electric Train Show. We do have a lot to do in a weekend, um, a lot of people to see, a lot of people to look after, a lot of organising that's done by us directly as well, but it's been a really good show, hasn't it? I was going to say, you're the one who's stressed it because you have to organise it. I just have to look busy, so <laughs> it works quite well. And of course, you've got uh, the Great Central Railway layout here as well. This is the first outing for this layout, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. This is the first time it's been seen outside of the garage, so it's, it's now here making its debut this weekend. Um, um, we've, we've almost finished it, but... Yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I was told that you were building this right through until the early hours before the the show um, um, yeah I was still putting it together on Thursday yeah but sure that's the best modeling happens against a deadline <laughs> yeah. it well, gets it done that's the main one yeah, it's, it always, does, yeah. it's always done on time yeah I've seen, but actually you've got a really great effect and I was really interested to learn that you use expanding foam for these for the actual topography yeah, which is this. you're not supposed to do that but it's actually worked out really well yeah, it's the first time we've used expanding foam for the scenery actually so but it's, it has worked and um, there's a couple of different techniques on top of it. Some of it's got uh, the typical plaster bandage, some of it's yeah. got a uh, paper type construction as well. So different constructions on top of it. But it's actually worked really, really well, and it's great to see it running. And you've you've had people coming in and having a go at running it as well, rather than just um, uh, having people watching it. Uh, and has that gone down really well with people able to have a go? Absolutely. I mean, that was one thing I used to miss out when I was a wee nipper. So we wanted to have a layout that people can actually enjoy, have a go on, and maybe enjoy something they wouldn't naturally have at home whether it be DCC or a locomotive or um, a working layout. And, and in terms of numbers through the door, I think everybody's been looking to uh, get to really set the benchmark what's going to happen post-Covid. Has it been uh, what you expected in terms of getting people through the door? Um, yes, it has. Um, actually, I think actually it surpassed my expectations and um, we had really good strong advanced ticket sales but that doesn't mean you're going to get a good yeah, on the door yeah. sale at the end of the day um, but actually we've had a lot of people fresh through the door as well and um, today's been really busy as a sunday as well and um, plenty of people still continues through all the time yesterday was really busy I'm really pleased with how the turnout's been and also how everyone's adapted to being back at Modwell Railway show everyone seems happy to be here everyone's excited to be here everyone's been very courteous to each other as well having a lot of consideration to others so it's been really a, a positive thing all around from Modern railway shows absolutely brilliant so, where next for Hornby Magazine? What, what's your plans as, as this this show winds down? What are you turning your attention to next? I, I'm going to turn my attention the bar, to isn't sleep. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose the next project is our yearbook, which is the next thing we're working on alongside the magazine as well. Right. Uh, so we've got that to do as well. That'll be out in, later in the year in November, and then after that we'll start the planning again for the 2022 Great Electric Train Show, which will be back here in October 2022. But hopefully you get get at least at least a year's worth of lions before you can. <laughs> get around to that but no, yeah, it's no chance about that it's yeah. great to talk to you guys and it's um, it's certainly we've had a really great weekend here and i've been lucky enough to talk to quite a few of the retailers manufacturers talk to pete waterman as well great to see that layout so you know it's thank you ever so much for inviting me here i've had a really great time and i think everybody else has been has really thoroughly enjoyed it so thank Hopefully. you very much you're very welcome snap so there you have it guys at the very end of the great electric train show and a big big thank you to Mike Wilde and uh, Richard Watson for taking a few minutes out of their very very busy schedule to say a few words to us but uh, I'm going to let people I can see people starting to uh, uh, pack away around us so we're going to let them get on and uh, you take great care of yourself happy modeling and until next time bye for now. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic 
Makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, oorail.co.uk, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grantline Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYMRish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Graham Foster, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, and Alan Dickerson. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.